You talked a little bit about privacy and augmented reality. I've noticed this disparity with regarding to privacy, and that is what people say they want and what people have and what people they don't realize that they have. <laughs> and there's never a synergy between those three, ever, is there? No, no. I mean, I think the biggest problem is that it's all perception, right? Like, you, we don't even have a, a handle of how private and secure things really are, right? And everybody's comfortable with the level of, with different levels of privacy, right? So for me, I'm willing to take, you know, to take, to let privacy take a bit of a back seat because I'm an early adopter and, and I want to kind of try new things and I'm willing to potentially, you know, take risks with my privacy to get there. Uh, but I shouldn't have to. And I think that it would be lovely to see a lot of the startups that we see today. And, you know, we see this, for example, with Uber, who messed up a whole bunch of stuff last year and continues to. I mean, I think that companies should really, at the core, think about the ethics of what they do and really be respectful of people. I mean, and if they don't, perhaps, you know, people shouldn't adopt their products. But at the same time, you know, if you're wanting to be early an early adopter and a leading edge person, you have to be somewhat flexible with some of this stuff. And is that more of a situation that they don't build privacy early on into the product and they wait kind of later in adoption and start when the sort of the, the uproar happens, they start building it in? I mean, there is that. I, oftentimes, you know, I've, having worked with startups, you just, you know, you get so involved into what you're doing and your product and you forget about, you know, that basic thing and, and you add it on later and it's a bit of a MMS. I think that just should be a little bit more of that thinking going on early on in all products, whether they're software, hardware, services. How, are, how does it affect our users? How, you know, how are we going to grow with our privacy? Have a strategy basically in the same way as you're going to have a strategy about your user experience and your design. Have a strategy about the privacy of your product. That's something that I think more companies need to do. But I also think there is a, a big tendency in our industry. I mean, I live in the Bay Area. I've been you know, reporting about technology for 10 years now. And there's this tendency in our, in our world to just not care. Like this, this, uh, this crazy douchery that's going on right now in the tech industry that's driving me nuts, which is people just want to make money. And it's all about greed. And they don't think, uh, it's not even that they, they don't think about it. They purposely, you know, take steps to to screw their users. And when you get to that point, I think, you know, it's it's karma. It's going to come back to get you eventually because you're you're just messing with people's lives. You know, I spoke to the Forrester woman yesterday and she uh, announced a stat that they had pulled together saying that if you build privacy early on, you will grow 10% faster than your competitor that doesn't. And the argument is you're building trust at, you know, stage one. For sure. I mean, it's all about respect and relationships and trust, right? And so, you know, and I think a lot of problems people have, and people I say, you know, companies, startups, groups of people, um, when they're they're not able to be humble, when they make a mistake, just make a mistake. We all make mistakes. Startups are all about making mistakes. You make a mistake, you learn from it, you iterate, you start over again, you get off, you know, you stand up again, you fall. It happens. So when that involves in your users in a major way, you really need to step up to your game, and you need to go out there and say, you know what, we messed up. And this is what we learned. Be as transparent as you can. Uh, and just, just you know, uh, hope that the people will forgive you because you've been transparent and you've been humble about the experience. Because ultimately, you know, what's done is done. You can't fix that.